Alberta is blessed with an enviable supply of non-renewable resources, which brings billions of dollars into our province each year. We have continued to rely on this revenue source for government operational spending. And as the re recent drop in oil prices once again exhibited, this practice does not provide fiscal stability for today's Albertans or for the future generations. Will your government, if you form one, continue the practice of using interest earned by the Heritage Fund for general revenues, or will you reinvest the interest back into the fund? That's a very good question as well, and that is exactly the solution that we're providing with the 10-year plan. So the three-year budget is to get us off that cycle. So it's going to be three tougher years to, to, in order to sort of wean ourselves off that by, by raising the, the revenues from taxes, decreasing the cost of government, and the use of the contingency fund. That's $6.3 billion that's in the contingency fund that we would use over the three years to help us absorb the shock of the tough years. That will then take us off of that, that cycle and so that when, when the prices go back up, we A, replenish the contingency fund, and B, start building the Heritage Trust Fund up so that we are not working on the interest, um, uh, the, the royalties to, to do our operating budget. And that's, that's what's been happening. So this is exactly what the 10-year plan is designed for, and there's a very specific strategy to make it work. If we have plentiful years where, where we have extra money, instead of pouring it back into operations, we would pay down the debt, like we do on our farm, if we have two good years in a row, we pay off that tractor loan, or we put an extra payment on the land payments. And I think that's how we will, we will move as ahead as a province, and be able to grow that Alberta Heritage Trust Fund, which is at um, about $17.5 billion now, we have, would have it but, uh, to about $30 billion in about 10 years. Thank you. I'm going to speak a little bit about the misnomer that uh, the, the difficulty we're having uh, is so, so heavily weighted on oil and that, that we don't have any diversity in this economy. Alberta is a very diverse economy. Yes, we are seeing revenues drop this year based off of oil prices. Everybody's talking about, oh, well, our oil prices in half, so are, a lot of people are thinking that their revenues are in half, but it's nowhere near that. We've seen a decrease in projected uh, revenues of 11.4% in this budget year. 11.4% is a manageable number to work with in a commodity cycle. And a lot of times when we're in business and, and we see a decrease of 10, 15% in commodity pricing, we take a look at fine-tuning and trimming some of the expense that can be trimmed. And uh, so th this is what's going to really solve our problem in the long run, is if we are fiscally responsible and watching that we uh, control our spending in a, in, a, in a manner that will track to uh, population growth and inflation, controlled spending will allow us to balance the budget in two, two years' time and then start to grow some of our savings. Non-renewables are on the balance sheet. They're in, they're, the, the oil is sitting in the ground. And as soon as we take it out, we need to decide how we're going to manage the money that's coming out of there. If we just spend it on operations, we are essentially spending our children's inheritance. So we would propose that we need to get more of that money, this 50% of surpluses in, 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 the, in the future, go into savings, trying to build that Heritage Savings Trust Fund to $200 million in 20 years. 50% of, uh, of all that surplus under controlled spending will grow that fund. In the last 10 years, that fund would be have grown. Hi. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy this 10-year uh, plan talk. Um, you know, we hear from, we've heard from PCs for years, promises that they made, and they always seem to make it, uh, you know, a long-term plan. 
Uh, it's going to be, you know, in 10 years we'll have this done. And by the end of the 10 years, well, nothing's happened, but by that point it's out of the news cycle. Um, you know, we've heard them promise to reduce child poverty. That didn't happen. Uh, you know, we've, we've heard years of promises on rural infrastructure and no movement there. Uh, so I don't buy it. Um, this is purely election talk, and we see it because this 10-year plan is changing every day. Uh, so it, this isn't this isn't been a plan, and it, it, it isn't a plan. Um, so uh, the MEP solution would be to balance our budget by 2018 by making the responsible and reasonable choice of asking corporations to pay a couple percentage points more in their taxes, uh, to asking the largest banks and oil companies to pay their fair share, and to work to reduce. Uh, costs for small businesses by offering a new job creator tax credit that will employ tens of thousands of Albertans by covering up to 10% of the wages of new hires that corporations make. That means jobs in this community. Um, yeah, as well, I think it's important for our province in the long term to work towards saving more in the Heritage Trust uh, Saving Fund. I mean, you know, the, it, it just takes a look over at the nation of Norway and other oil producing nation, they've saved almost a trillion dollars in their fund. There's no reason why uh, we couldn't have done that by this point. It's been years of PC mismanagement. It's been years of PCs neglecting the investments they need to make and uh, not asking corporations and our wealthiest to pay their fair share. So that's our solution.